Hello everyone, my Rang here, and we're playing as Tote. Wow, Tote has a lot of health. Um, do I, how do I... Do I have like a deck of cards? Looks like I have a deck of cards. One rare item, a relic, or a common item set. Let's go with a relic, I like relics. Backpack is full, toss damage double. Okay, well, we'll figure out what that means. Let's just get into a fight, and this is a premonition of danger. Okay, we're fighting some kind of bird with like a like a pole axe or something, or just a regular axe. Hard to tell. Okay. Okay, let's fight a muskrat and a Let's see. Um, carvings. Okay, draw carvings. I can place them in my backpack to summon it. Okay. Well, let's... Okay. There we go. So then I guess I eventually fill up my inventory. And then I have to toss... It discards all carvings. Hmm. Jason weapons get plus two damage. Oh, this discards itself automatically. Interesting. Okay, so this deals eight damage. I'll just do the one that deals eight damage. Yeah, now my toss is gonna do double damage. What's the formula for how much damage Toss does? For each carving... Okay, it's just additional damage for each carving. This is going to do 6 damage. Okay, cool. Okay, this is 8. So if I were to Toss right now, it would do 1 damage. So each does each one does 1. Yeah, each each yeah each carving does one, and if I have the gambler toad, each one does two. Okay. Oh yeah, this gets discarded automatically. So the yeah the adjacent weapons doing more damage won't stick around. Wait, that definitely. Wait a second. Gem carving plus two. Oh, it's plus two. It's not double. What am I talking about? Okay. So, yeah, I really... Well, I'm going to level up after the first fight. I'm pretty sure you always level up after the first fight. So... Oh, I looked at the number of health and didn't look at the number of block. Anyway, we'll just we'll just fill up our inventory and then toss kill them. Oh, well, whatever. Get out of here. I don't know if it matters too much how I do this layout. Just making it a nice rectangle will make it easier for my buff, my buff carving. Okay, so this is like a this is like a normal deck. It's like I'm playing Slay the Spire or something. Okay, what is this? This is a carving. That's a carving. Okay, these are all carvings. I'm connected to three saps. Do I have any saps in my deck? Shield, shield, weapon, weapon. Shield, weapon, gem. Okay. Okay, so I need to get three of these. Actually, I need to get four of these. Three or four, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So this is... Oh, this costs zero to play. Free block. Yeah. Okay, so this... Discards itself automatically when I play a shield. It's like, this is free damage. 
This also cycles itself. On use, it does three damage and cycles. Hmm. And what do these do? These do nine, so this is slightly worse than the shield carving, but it costs zero, so... Oh, right, I don't put it in my... If I change, if I have buyers or more, it's like, okay, I can return the craving. Cool. The carving. Yeah, whatever, I'll just take it. Hopefully it'll get some good damage. I don't have anything really good to cycle into, so the zero mana three damage that cycles isn't like doesn't seem too super impressive discarded and banished oh okay well let's get nine block and oh i i wasn't thinking about my targeting yeah definitely should have been targeting the the bearded dragon because burn stacks are going to be kind of painful that's that's all right. I need to block twice because of these burn stacks. All right, and then I'm gonna do twelve damage. Oh yeah. Oh, another level up. Let's make it a four by four. You know, as close to it as I can get, I guess. Hmm. So I can get great luck for the low, low price of one mana and one draw, or one energy and one draw. It banishes itself, so... I'm assuming, yeah, remove for the rest of the combat. I like the idea of having high rarity stuff. This, you know, one energy, 10 damage, and gain, oh, on discard, I gain mana, okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, a chest of valuables, and I guess it has carvings, which is why it looks a little bit different. All right, what's here? I'm gonna pinch my cheek. Do I want a random legendary? Nah. Alright, what is this? Do I want... This? Hmm. I think I, you know, I'll just take it. It's free. I think I just take one. Okay, get another sap. Huh. Oh, so this does nothing the turn I play it. Yeah, I play it and then it gives me four block every turn. That seems pretty good. And get even more luck. I think I. The sooner I can get my three saps. Well, do I need four saps or three saps? I, I mean, I guess uh, carving isn't connected to itself, so probably just three saps. Or probably four saps, I mean. Alright, do I want gold or XP and a fight? Well, we'll decide later. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if there's like if anywhere specific I should be putting the gem card. I think I put, I, yeah, I put it here. Oh, I did the thing again. Okay, I really want to take out this. Uh, oh, I'm out of energy. Yeah, that wasn't a good use of a gem carving. I could have just killed this guy. I didn't even have to block. He had so little health. 
All right, well, this is eight damage. Well, this is free. I'm glad I got this this turn. Um, Toss does three damage. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just get rid of that guy and then a little more block. I, I can play the lucky carving later. This fight isn't going to end super quickly. Okay, so here's the lucky carving. Yep. I guess I just play this to... I, I play both? Oh, they cost zero. Yeah. I have no block cards in my draw pile. So I'm actually just going to throw all these. There we go. Oh. Right, I threw them into my discard pile. Okay, so we're going to be taking some... Oh wait, no, acorns block. Yeah, there we go. And it's free. 8, 16, 24. I would need to do 26. What about... 5, 15, one damage off. That's funny. Oh, I, I'm only going to take one damage, though, so it's fine. Yeah, this is more damage. Alright. So it's kind of interesting that my that my cards like, don't get reshuffled into my draw pile until I toss them out of my backpack. Alright. <laughs> I, I barely have enough carvings to fill up my backpack. All right, look at this 18 damage toss. Okay. So I guess I need to get, I need to get some more carvings. Hopefully some carvings that are actually useful. I kind of almost don't want to level up. It's the more space I get, the more difficult it'll be. What is this? Moves forward and then turns clockwise. Well, I have I, I, I need to get more saps. I have three saps now. We're so close to being able to use our use our saps. I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything that can use mana just yet. I think getting five gold isn't as useful as getting like this is a lot of XP that I'm getting because I'm doing a fight and getting rewards hmm. in addition to the XP site um, this is regen for everyone this guy just gets one dodge at the beginning of the fight. Okay. So I'll break the dodge with this. I'm like, I'm concerned that if I don't kill this guy first, he's going to run away at the, after I kill the front guy. That's probably not necessary to fret about, but also, if he's going to be giving regeneration, I can't have that. Can I do 22 damage in one turn? This is 8. Okay. These cost nothing to play, so let's... Oh, okay. So, connected to three includes itself. Awesome. So now I have a dodge and I did 16 poison. Okay, cool. And because he's dead to the poison, he is... He just won't attack. 
He won't do anything if he dies to the poison. It's kind of weird. I feel like if that's the case, it should just do poison damage before the enemy turn. But I guess then in that case, if I got poisoned, that would be very sad for me because I wouldn't be able to clear it before taking the first instance of damage if I had the ability to clear poison. So I guess it makes sense. All right. Now we just give this guy all the poison. And we can throw everything at him too. Yeah, take that. For each empty space to the right does damage. Wait, on use? Um, does it mean I have to have a bow carving to be able to use this? Huh, energy stick is interesting. I gotta go with the Enoki mushrooms. Yeah, that's just gonna give me block every turn. We'll take another mana stone. Why the heck not? Okay. So, yeah, let's take the unknown event. Oh, that doesn't look good. Huh. So I can either get I can either get stuff or I can pray. What does praying do? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, he's a possum, of course. Oh, I I I was like trying to drag it. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that'll be easy to put in the top row. I just put all my carvings in places that aren't the top row. Cool. <laughs> okay. I could have probably, like, I guess if I stole from him, I would get multiple lower rarity items. What's the rarity of this carving? Yeah, it's rare. I would have probably gotten multiple, like, commons or uncommons, maybe, even. Okay, yeah, we just get real items now. So I have the relic that my toss damage is increased if I fill up my backpack. I, I want it to be easier to fill up my backpack so I can do toss damage more often, but I also... I mean, I don't know if it matters too much. I guess the sooner I get it, the, the sooner I can get my toss damage, the better. Um, yeah, I don't need the luck carving now. I can play everything except for one. Yeah, because the acorn's free. So if I... Yeah, I just don't play the lucky carving. Okay, that that was that was a lot less difficult than for some reason I was making it. All right, what is this? Oh yeah, it's the, the the power. Adjacent consumable is used. I don't feel the need to use consumables. Of course, it's going to be completely wasted because. Actually, let's look at my draw pile. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be able to... If I don't place this down, I'll be able to activate all of my... All my saps. Yeah, do that, and then... Then I fill up my inventory, and I just hit this guy for... 14 damage. Oh, I forgot to play the luck, the luck carving. Whoops. So this takes up two spaces and costs one and does 12 block. Huh, on summon, it adds one energy. So I draw five carvings per turn. 
I have a decent number that costs zero, so I don't think this is worth it. On use, deals three damage. Oh, so I click it to use it. Sure. Summon it for zero. Costs zero to summon. Hmm. Well, I have the ability to get 16 poison. I'm gonna pinch my cheek again. No legendary for me. Okay, what is this? Reach mana stone in this row. Mana sat is not a sat, by the way. You know, just put it, putting that out there. Okay, I don't want that. More consumables. So all I get from these chests are consumables, which is fine. All right, well, let's try to kill this guy before we uh, get mugged. If I play the oak stump, then the reeds will go back into my draw pile, bef likely before the uh, oak stump. But if I toss, yeah, they, it, they get discarded, so they go in my discard pile, obviously. Right, adjacent weapons get plus two damage. Okay, cool. So I lose my 8 gold, but I can kill him and get my 8 gold back. Alright. Oh yeah, and I want my, want my dodge. I should have targeted the back guy, I just wasn't thinking about that. Alright, toss would do 10 damage. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, this time I'm going to remember to play my luck. My luck carving. Yeah, goodbye. And... I guess I want to be able to play my... I want to be able to toss sooner, I guess. We'll do that, and then we'll toss. Wait, what does this do? Oh, yeah. Huh, so I could use a consumable. Oh, wait, I don't need to. Alright, if I get both of my... Oh, uh... Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> use this consumable for one health. Sure, why not? Alright, let's get out of this fight. I think we can. I think we can do it this turn. And I did, yeah, I did play my luck. Okay, I guess I want to make the top row a little bigger. To make it easier to use my item that wants to go into the top row. Huh, I got a legendary bow. So if I kill something with this bow, each row to the right, hmm, I'm already, I don't know. I'm all, I, I already have the, I already have like the root saps thing going. So I don't know if I want to add this other thing that's gonna need, make me need to put arrows in my deck. Good. Whenever it kills an enemy, so it could could be a, min a summoned enemy that this kills, and I'll still get the benefit. I'm gonna skip. Hmm. It deals 10 damage, and on discard it using mana. Oh, I can only take one item. Dang. Hmm.
So I play it for zero, and then I spend one mana to use it. Interesting. Each turn adds one rage. Eh. I'll see if the toads. I'll, 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 I'll take the toad Zool Sword. Alright, let's take a look in here. Okay, just more consumables. <laughs> it's a lot of consumables. I might need to get some of them out of my inventory. Well, we can we can just get rid of the flowers. Probably should have. Well, I should have considered if it might be better to do that later. Items is placed on or destroyed. Okay, how does that work here? Did I just destroy a block carving? I think I might have. I don't know. Anyway. It's a basic carving. And again, I should probably be targeting... Oh! It, it tells me if an enemy is cowardly. If I mouse over it, it'll tell me if I need to make sure they die first. Can I get 12 block? I can get 12 block pretty easily. Alright. Um, and by 12 block, I mean I dodge one of the attacks, so I only need 8 block. Okay. So that was free. And... Let's see. So this is 12 block, which is one less than the number I want. So, so I'm going to take one damage. That's okay. I should probably start using some of these consumables. Um... Okay, so that enemy is almost dead. Oh, I'm taking another one damage. Okay, I... wasn't paying attention to that. That's okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. I want the great luck. Okay. Yeah, the Toadstool Sword rumors how many times I've used it. That makes sense. Seven damage and three poison. Okay. Yeah, as opposed to just eight damage. What is this? Huh. Okay, this Dreaming Ring could be great. Vine Sap could also be great. I need to get some of these consumables out of my inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna... I wanna discard the Salami. No, I, I should save it for later in the run. Maybe just use some of these consumables. Oh man, I'll be able to absolutely destroy any boss that I want. 6 poison, 12 poison, 15, 30 poison, 33, 66 poison, just with these four things. Could make it even more with the Rusty Sword. This costs zero to play. I'm hoping I can get some card draw. There was the thing that said zero mana, three damage, and you could draw a card. I'll take the Dreaming Ring, because that's a lot of, uh... Oh, I can take two. Wooden Shiv. Okay, actually, maybe I want the Wooden Shiv. That's free damage every turn. Once I play it once. Yeah, maybe we'll return this. 
Wait, this also this costs zero. This costs zero and does like thirteen damage, I guess, over a few rounds. This does more than thirteen damage over I guess if I use this three times, it'll do more than seven damage and three poison. Though it synergizes pretty well with the poison I already have from the saps. Yeah, sure. Actually, the, you, know, you know what's better synergy with saps? Other oh, saps. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. What does natural do? Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, okay, you know what? We'll just give something natural. It costs 10, which I guess is comparable to everything else. <laughs> Spending 10, 10 gold just to find out what natural means. Let's make this natural. So what, what happened to it now that it's natural? Oh, okay. Guaranteed to draw this on turn one? Yeah, sure. Give me one dodge. You can remove a carving. How much would it cost to remove a spiky carving? Five gold. Okay. And it's double to remove another one. Adjacent weapons get plus three damage. Eh. Oh, but it doesn't get discarded. So the the one I started with, the up the gem carving. Cost one and it gets discarded at the end of the turn, but it doesn't. It does damage. Huh. Okay. So one energy to heal for five. Okay. I'm gonna skip. Uh, I should take another look. Yeah, the, I already had a chance to get a rusty sword for free. Same with the mushroom. The daughter's blade does 10 damage for zero energy, which is pretty good. Is it worth buying? Are there any, like, is there anything else that's that I could buy? And if I want to discard the Daughter's Blade, I can just wait until my hand is, or my backpack is full, and then toss it. So this is just zero energy for 10 damage, which is fine. Nah. Alright, boss time. Do I do I dodge the poison? That'd be pretty cool if I dodged the poison. Alright, so I could just give this guy 66 poison and then just kinda laugh. Yeah, let's do it. It'll, it'll be funny. Yeah, look at all that poison. I did not need all that block. Oh, I can't dodge the poison. Uh, there's no way I do 59 damage. Unless... Yeah, whatever. So I take the poison damage. It's fine. I took two damage. 
did not use a weapon last turn. Well, I have a lot of things that aren't weapons. Yeah, so spiky carvings. I wish I could sort these. Um, yeah, so the spiky carvings are weapons. Saps are not weapons, even the one that does poison. I actually don't have a lot of weapons. Yeah, it's just the the two spiky carvings, the gem carving and the and the, the toadstool sword. Okay, I can see that being really good. Ooh, when an item is destroyed, okay. Yeah, create a new item of the same size. If your hand is empty, draw a new carving. Okay, that's card draw if I play everything in my hand. I don't quite have the cheap carvings to make that work. Could just get unlimited consumables. Yeah, if you did not use a weapon last turn. I have so few weapons. Yeah, I have four weapons. And they're not even my best damage. Well, the Toadstool Sword is burst. It is pretty good. It's burst damage. I forgot to give myself luck, but I don't think relics care about luck. They probably all have the same rarity. I mean, they, they don't have a rarity, as I can... It doesn't say a rarity on them. Yeah, let's get some... Let's get some of that free energy. Yeah. Goodbye, Mana Stone. Alright, what's in here? Okay, yeah, even more luck. Yeah, let's get these Mana Stones out of here. I don't want to think about Mana Stones. Reach Hazard in this row. Yeah, I don't care about the hazards either. Oh, what is this? Cutting board. Adjacent consumable is used. Okay. <laughs> now I really kind of wish I took the... Wait, this is two spaces. Well, I guess the bigger is kind of better for something that wants things to be adjacent. Anyway. Um, yeah, if I had the loot box... And I'd be able to get pretty much, yeah, pretty much as much block as I want. Oh, the cleansing bomb and the cleansing potion are great because they're consumables that have multiple uses. And there was one rune, or there's one carving that was consumable that I could have taken earlier if I wanted. Oh yeah, this. No, it's a potion. It's not, but it's not a consumable. Uh, oh, I I misread what this did the last time I saw it. So I yeah I place it down, and then it's a card draw engine. Okay, so yeah, so it cycles itself, and it'll draw me something next turn. Well, this acorn sap it would be pretty cool. I'll take the I'll take the oak hatchet because when I place it, it'll almost certainly be at least two cards drawn. Do I care about any of this. Gaining max health isn't really that important when I have 80 max health, and I don't need to spend money healing when I'm missing five health. Swamp or deep cave? I don't know. Don't think it matters. If I, well, if I knew, I was paying more attention to my previous runs, to what exactly the enemies do, then I guess I would care. Wait a second. When, a, ar when armor or a shield is present, it discards itself. Huh. Yeah, so the oak hatchet was a mistake. I have the Mask of Secrets. I have two oak stumps. If I could get the mechanized toy... Wait, I don't think I can get that. If I, like, So at one point I got a consumable that destroyed one of my runes. And that was pretty neat. Oh, yeah. 
So if I want to play that hatchet, I'll need to discard my... All my shields, or I'll need to toss them. The, the plant carving, or the enoki mushrooms, are not a shield or armor, so that's cool. Hmm. Each turn adds two block on discard at seven. Connected to three saps, it does three, six damage to all enemies. Can we play it over other items? Interesting. So this doesn't actually, it kind of takes up all the space, but doesn't really take up all that space. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, we'll see how we can make it work. Okay, so this is 14 block. There's nothing cowardly here. There's hardly ever anything cowardly in most fights. Okay. Well, I can... I can just smack the snail using two energy. Adjacent consumable. Oh, the toadstool sword is a consumable. Oh, that's pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I'll take my great luck. Okay, yeah, pretty good turn one. So yeah, toadstool sword is pretty good in this build. Um, can I win the fight now? No, I can't. Uh, I don't have any shields right now. Let's just play this and draw a card. Okay, cool. Now I think I can win the fight. Lose five from all status effects on everyone. Okay. Hmm. Not great when I want to apply poison to enemies, but I also just kind of have damage as well. I mean, I can kind of decide whether I want to use a survival guide to clear, you know, to clear poison or burn that's on me. I'll take it. It's fine. Though the extra four block per turn actually would have been really good. No, this game's too hard. Four uses. Oh, so this is just four, this is just four energy. Yeah, I'll take four energy. And I'll take a bunch of free health. Uh, probably don't need the poultice. Okay. Um... I could remove five, one dodge. Could remove that dodge from the back enemy. I guess since it's free, I'll do it. And I could play the shield. I, I could play. I could play all my block and then toss it and then play the axe. Yeah, one, two, three. So I won't actually, I won't actually be able to take advantage of the oak hatchet. So maybe, well, I won't be able to take advantage of it this turn. But I'll be able to take advantage of it next turn. See, so yeah, then I toss and I play this. And do I want to just cycle something? Well, maybe I get a maybe I get something that's free. Yeah, there we go. I totally forgot that that's actually reasonably likely. Also, putting the hatchet right at the, next to the cutting board wasn't the best thing I could have done. Yeah, I can't put something on top of something else. 
Um, well, let's use this now. So I'm definitely going to be playing a shield. Adjacent consumable is used. Do I have any consumables here? I'm going to be taking a lot of damage if I... Well, actually, how much damage am I going to be taking? Eight, 11, 15, 18. I'm taking one damage right now. All right, I need to... Yeah, I'll just do something like this, and then I think next turn I'll try to get a kill. How much does this do? 10. Well, I don't get to play the three saps, but that's okay. This is 15 damage. Okay, goodbye. 8. Yeah, 8 plus 7 is 15. So use this two more times, but I can't. Also, I didn't think about if I'd be able to use the reeds. Okay, we're taking a little bit more damage. We have a lot of healing consumables in our inventory right now, so it's fine. Alright. So we're taking 11 damage. Let's just get this out of here. Oh, that poison was useless. Yeah, I could have done that better. Okay. This will be set up for next turn. An adjacent or diagonal space. Yes, this will give me a lot of block. And it's not a shield. So it means... Yeah, that means it's going to be easy enough to use the axe. I don't think it... Well... Oh, I didn't need that block. I should have done it the other way. will do four toss will do four damage oh there's the luck that I wasn't thinking about lucky that I got it hey yo okay four damage oh things that get discarded instantly should be put next to should be put next to my dreaming ring of course that's 16 block. Yeah, that's good enough. And cool. Okay. Yeah, this does feel pretty weak, though. Because it's not like the... Uh... It's not like when you play as Satchel, whoever the starting character is. It's not like when you play that character and you can just give yourself, like, you can just find every shoe hat and, like, put armor next to them and then everything. And then you just gain a bunch of block every turn for free. Carving is summoned in an adjacent space as three block. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll just have a really strong defensive turn one. Let's just take the next fight, I guess. Really, I should be making it like upgrading my deck to make it less likely for me to take damage, but it's really not going to matter too much. Let's put a carving there. Oh, this is three block. That's. That'll be enough if I put that there. Cool.
Do I want to toss these guys for three damage? No, I want to keep my pine cone. Am I am I sap? Ugh, it's a lot of it's a lot of slime. But I I only have to click one of them to destroy all of them. Cause it's like yeah, it's a chain reaction. Okay, what was I doing? Well, this is a sap. Let's play it. Put this here to get that block. That sweet block. How did I have four mana? Why is it not telling me... Something's going on. How do I click it? Um, what am I, what, what am I, what screen am I in? Or what screen does the game think I'm in? Um... Okay, you know what? That's where I'm going to call the run. It'll, it'll be just be really short, because... Well, no. Alright, we're on floor four. Ugh. Alright, well, well, I guess we're doing this over. Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, did I already have one of those? No. Yeah, because I restart from the beginning of the... of the floor. Um... Yeah, I have the axe, which isn't great, but that's okay. If I play the reeds, that's not enough block by itself. I could do oak stump and reeds, or I could use the Mask of Secrets. I think the Mask of Secrets and the Oak stuff just makes more sense. What's this do? I could have probably... Yeah, I could have I used the Dreaming Ring to... to be able to get an attack off without taking any damage. That's okay. Okay, well, let's get rid of these. And... Oh, if I don't use a weapon, I get one more energy. Right, that's... Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken the, the axe. Um, yeah, this will just give us... Some energy. Oh, I can actually play everything. Because the saps are free. Okay. Now let's target the back guy with the poison. There we go. Eight poison. Wait, what? Oh, I meant. Did I use the wrong. Help! Oh my goodness. I don't want to reorganize it. Okay, this character is a little buggy. Um, yeah, I used a vine sap. Wait, no, what did I use? I don't know. For some reason, I, I'm pretty sure I used a, a sap. Okay, whatever. That's where I'm going to call it. I... Uh... Okay, yep. So... Okay, so... So, Tote is just a broken character. It doesn't work. 
Seems like pretty fun while it was working though. Next up, we're gonna try Pochette, who has pets. Okay, cool. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.